Yeah, yeah, yeah. And admit it, verse 41 says, who were rich put in much. Then one poor widow came and threw in. She was about as strong as little mother did. And, and she just dropped it. Boy, you better come on. And threw in two mites. Two mites. Which makes a quadrant. So he called his disciples to himself and said to them, Assuredly, Assuredly. Uh, yeah, without question, I say to you that this poor widow Look out, has boy. put in more than all those who have given in the treasury. He said all those. For, yeah, somebody <laughs> say all those. All those. Yeah, <laughs> for they, yeah, all put in out of their abundance. Yeah. But she, out of her poverty, put in, and here's the key, all she had, Woo! her whole livelihood. Yes. And I just want to tie the text to this pericope here. Tied, Reverend. I just want to talk to you, amen, Brother Milford and family, uh, as it relates to God. I want to talk to you from this thought. Yeah, give it all. You got to. Yay! Boy, that's it, man. Yeah, in your relationship with the Lord, I just came by from the city of Vallejo to tell somebody on this day, you have to give it all. You got it. That's good, preacher. That's good. You're right about it. Just let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, for Lord, you are my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Uh, not for you to agitate the person next to you too much, but touch somebody next to you again and tell them, friend, excuse me. <laughs> but in this life, in this life, life like Mother Lane, like Mother Lane, you have to give it. You have to give it. You have to give it. All you've got. All you've got. All you got. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Yeah. 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 Listen. Well, you're going somewhere, Doc. <laughs> People have gone. Ha has Mother Lane her, her children, or her grandchildren, or her family members been a blessing uh, to you personally or has touched anybody in this room today? Can you say amen? Amen. amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's the reason, yeah, for the reason is that when it came to love and life, Mother Lane made up her mind a long time ago. <laughs> amen. That I'm going to give it. <laughs> All that I got. Am I right about it today? And listen, brothers and sisters, Mother Lane, this seasoned woman who was short in stature, but a giant in spirit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She gave her life to be a blessing yes. to everybody else. Yes. Isn't that right? Yes. I mean, just look around here today. Look around, I mean, look around. Mother Lane made an indelible mark that, yes, yeah, she left on this Dos Palace community. <laughs> Yeah, she has earned so much respect, amen, for her city and this area. And in fact, she broke some barriers. Yes, she did. Can I talk about it as I know? Talk about it, man. Yeah, she, she broke some barriers. And, and I've been around long enough, yeah, in my 56 years of living, that uh, such that like doctors and, uh, and insurance people, they used to make house calls. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Well, yeah, I remember the doctor when I had measles when I was little fella. Tough boy. Black bag. Yeah, and some of y'all don't know, but my own grandmother on my daddy's side in Texarkana, Texas, she was, yeah, the town midwife. They called her the town doctor. She was delivering all these babies. And Preacher. To be interesting, and that's why I love history. And I ended up, instead of being a psych major, becoming a history major in college because I found out on my daddy's side that my, yeah, great grandfather was sold into slavery, actually taken as a baby out of his mother's arms. Yeah, My. and and sold from North Carolina into Mississippi. And yes, and his brother, who's a few years older than him, they were growing up in Mississippi. The story goes that at five years old, that uh the, the the Union soldiers were coming to town, but they thought they were the Confederate soldiers and were gonna kill them. And so yeah, his older brother said, Phil, run. So at five years old, he started running, and somehow 
he got reconnected back in North Carolina from Mississippi with, we think it's through the Freedmen's Bureau, with his That's dead right. own mother. That's right. Yeah, y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, he grew up there, left, went down to Emerson, Arkansas, bought 200 acres of land that's still in the family, and he had five daughters, one of them, Brother Milford, being my grandmother. Now, when she got married, moved down to Texas County and started delivering all of these babies, right? And so I'm totally enamored and fascinated by this story. And I tell my children, if your great grandfather could do all that, then you have no excuse not yeah. to be successful. Yeah, preacher. Yeah. And, and, and what happened was, when I was telling this story to the, uh, another church I pastored in Vallejo, the, the, the woman that was the leader of our greeting ministry, she raised her hand and she said, Pastor, now I don't know if you knew this, but your grandmother delivered my two older sisters. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Lord Jesus. And what is it saying, my Pastor? Listen, you, you got to learn with Mother Rosine and persons like her and her wonderful sister here. You got to learn how to appreciate the bridge that has brought you across. You got to learn from somebody who's been through some stuff. Am I right about it? Yes. And so, Mother Lee, uh -huh. yeah, she broke some barriers because insurance folk, they, cause some folk would act like they wasn't home. <laughs> Especially when they didn't have no money. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and the black community, amen, with the knock chain. Our parents would, would ask us, well, who is he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and listen, if we didn't know the name of Mr. Brown and Mr. Scott and yeah, Mr. Abernathy, yeah. hey man, we, we didn't know who they were. We just called him the insurance man. Yeah. And, and I'm right about it. Yes, sir. And so I know she broke some barriers because I'm telling you, in my young years of living, I never heard of an insurance lady. Yeah. Come on, preacher. Come on, preacher. So, so Mother Lane had some tenacity. Mother Lane had some gut. She had some, yeah, some go, go get it -ness. Am I right about it? Yeah, but all she got. Come the insurance lady when there wasn't nothing out there but insurance men. Preach, preacher, preach, preach, preach. Set somebody free, boy. Set somebody free. Set somebody. Set somebody free, boy. Set him free, boy. Set him free, boy. Set him free, free, boy. Set him free. Boy. Set him free. And I know we got some issues. Well, amen. You know, it's tell, right. the tell the story, man. You know, I, I, that's why God gave me three daughters. <laughs> 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 yeah, because uh, I had to break through some issues. Well, you know, I'm not talking about it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's so funny. <laughs> I got daughters in the ministry. You know, <laughs> oh, yeah, listen, God will call who he wants to. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Preach, preacher. Can I preach it like I fit it? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. yeah but Brother Lane was history. And look, brothers and sisters, when it comes to her family and extended family, she gave 74 years of her life yeah. Yeah. loving her husband yeah. and caring for her children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, nieces and nephews and kids from the proverbial hood. And I, I'll be honest with you, I'm the youngest of nine children. And I never understood how Bro Pastor my mama could, yes, feed all of the friends and our partners and, and our cousins and them, you know, and, and, and folk from the neighborhood. With, with, with my father, being the only one work, there wasn't but one check coming into our house from, from my daddy working out in Mare Island. And amazingly, when my grandmother died, uh, your family, I want to tell you this, you know, I looked at those notes, you see, when my grandmother died on my mother's side in 1990, there were, thir uh, yeah, there were 36, in 1980, there were 36 grandchildren and 52 great-grandchildren in our family, too. Amen. And since then, we've been very fruitful and have multiplied. <laughs> So I 
know those generations that stood, and, and there's going to be a whole lot more that are going to be coming around pretty soon. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. <laughs> but isn't it amazing how Mother Lane and others were able to take two fish and five loaves. Yeah. One. Let me say it right there. Yeah. I'll take some hot water from bread. Yeah. 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 Preach it out. Hot water cornbread, the hot beans, and, and, and on a good day, have some fried chicken. <laughs> on a good day. On a good day. Well, oh, yeah. Well, yeah, well, folks just like this would just be able to show up at the house. They didn't have no appointment. They just, yeah, I'm, I, I'm just with Ronnie. Yeah. <laughs> Preach, boy. But isn't it amazing what love can do? Yeah. Isn't it amazing what can happen when you give your family all that you got? Isn't it amazing how God will take yeah. something small and make something great? Isn't it amazing how God can use somebody as small as that and be able to have such a big heart? Isn't it amazing? Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Mighty amazing. Well, and the Bible raises the question. Hmm. Oh, my God. Who can find a virtuous wife. woman? That's right, that's right. For her worth is five, five better. Four the more. heart of a husband safely trusts her, and he will not have a lack of gain. She doesn't good and not evil all yeah. the days of her life. And listen, for 56 long years, Mother Lane was married to Brother Milford. Amen. And isn't it amazing in these days when some of us have hard enough time living with ourselves? Preach, boy. Amen. Amen. Of uh, uh, loving and yeah, and sharing and yeah, being with somebody. Touch your neighbor and tell him he ain't talking about you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, my own parents yeah were married for 49 years, and they would have been 50 had my dad not passed in that March. But listen, yet yeah, isn't it amazing how long marriage can last and love can abound when selfishness gets out of the way? Preacher. And even in your marriage, yeah, when you're willing to give it all you got, you can make it. Have I with this here? And now I know Mother Lane's dad Milford's marriage for 56 years was one of those perfect marriages, but boy, it wasn't quite like that in the son's house. <laughs> I know, you know, I, I, I tell you the truth, you know, uh, marriage, brothers and sisters, is it's, it's, it's wonderful. It is it's divine. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's, it's great. Yeah. But how many of us know that it's work? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying it, man. Oh yeah, the, the man who finds himself a wife, yeah, you you find a good thing. <laughs> and you get the favor of the Lord. And so again, Brother Milford Sr., yeah, yeah, yeah. He got a bonus. He not only found himself a good thing way back in his wonder years, but he got the favor of the Lord yeah. on his side. Know who you are. You are the walking epitome yeah. of the favor of God. Yeah. yeah, that was free. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give it out, Reverend. Give it out. Give it out, Bridget. And I tell you, and the brother that finds you gets the bonus. The Bible says, and the man who finds himself away. Y'all ain't got to go out, sister, scouting. I am just a humble. But now it's your business to go scouting. No, just, just wait on God. Preach, preacher, preach. And you get the bonus. He gets the favor. Do you know what happens to somebody when they get the favor of God? Boy, boy, boy. You know how blessed Milford Sr. was because he had the favor of God on his life. And for 56 years, being able to share the same household with the same wife, raising the same children and his grandchildren, and then it stretched out to the neighborhood and how God. Mm. Mm. All right, sisters, touch somebody next to you and tell them I'm the favor of God. <laughs> I, I just want you to know what God's favor feels like. <laughs> Lord Jesus. So I believe. What it feel like, Reverend? Mother Lane knew she was the favor of God. Was that right? Yeah. And listen, brothers and sisters, watch this. 
<laughs> now, this brings me to a reflection <clears throat> on the relationship with Jesus. Because out of all of the great things that she has done in her family, in business, in bowling, and on the social status of being a worthy matron and traveling everywhere that she did, she realized, amen, that when I give the Lord Jesus all that I have, I know I can do all things through him. Are you listening to me today? Oh yes, when you give God all you got, then what God gives you is supernatural, extraordinary strength. My brothers and my sisters, and sometimes it is amazing as we look at the lives of some people yeah. as to how one person can do so much for so many. Uh -huh. And therefore, I came all the way down here from Vallejo to remind somebody today that in Christ, all things are possible. Am I right about it today? Yes, sir. And if you simply allow God to use you, I promise you, he will. Yeah. Am I right about it today? Yeah. And listen, family, people of God, I, I do need to take a few minutes. Mm. Preach on, and, preach. And work on and work from this text. From because Holy Spirit has shown me a, a little healthy parallel between this woman in the book and Mother Lane. So if I could borrow your minds for about another three hours. <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's what we no, need, Reverend. No, teach, no, no, teach it, Reverend. Teach it. Teach it in here. Teach it. Teach it in here. Listen, I don't preach sermon that's because you make Christian ass. <laughs> you preach it already. But no, I, I didn't know, but no. Uh, listen, no. Uh, before you raise your proverbial That's all finger right. and do the tip out. Yeah, we, we, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I'm not going to hold you, uh, but about 10 minutes if you just say amen. amen. Yeah, there you go. Amen. There you go. Yeah, you, you help me here, and instead of three hours, give me 10 minutes and we'll be on the way. In fact, you can start your clocks about right now. Watch this. Listen, in this text, in this small pericope, yeah, the first thing that I noticed is that Jesus took notice of the heart of the people. Yeah. Can anybody stand some word about right here? That's right, Pastor, right here. Well, what right is here. Pastor, that Jesus took notice of their hearts? Well, it's because in verse 41, the Bible says that Jesus sat opposite the treasury uh -huh. and he saw how the people put money in the temple treasury. Preach, preach. Did you, read that? Did you see that in your Bibles? That's right. Yeah, and listen. And I came by to let somebody know that the Bible says where a person's treasures are, that's where your heart shall be also. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. And listen, brothers and sisters, Mother Lane was an active and dependable member of St. Mark's Church for years. And I've been in ministry for nearly 30 years now. And I remember the first time I came down here to Dos Palace on, to, on Christian Avenue. Amen. As I, uh, yeah, I was an upstart in the ministry, but I was driving for the presiding. Yoga, all right. Anybody who knows what that means, that I was carrying his bag. Amen. Now, yeah, I, I was driving the car and all of that, but we came down here for a meeting. Yes, amen. Because he had to preach over there on Christian Avenue, right? Yeah, around the corner here. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but Mother Lane was there all of those years ago, Brother Milford. And watch this. Jesus hmm, was watching the hearts of the people. Well, how do you know something? Yeah. Because if you love something, if you love someone, you invest in what you love. Yeah. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. I have a wife and three daughters, and as much as I say to them, I love you, believe me, I have to show them oh, yeah. how that I love them more than I can talk. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, yes, and I have to give them the best of me. And watch this. Jesus, therefore, was watching their giving. And I'd better parenthetically say this along the way, because some people have a tendency to talk about, amen, the ecclesia, the people of God, the church of God, the Preach. kingdom of God. Amen. And unlike Mother Love, I mean Mother Lane, listen, if you're not putting anything in it, your time, your talent, and your resources, you don't have a right to talk about it. Amen. Preach, preacher. 
preach. Oh, yes, and listen, brothers and sisters, I need to flip that script for just a moment. Yes. Oh, you, for the Bible carrying, Bible believing, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled people of God, if you're not helping to bless, minister, clothe, feed, teach, and build up the least, the last, and the lost, you have no business talking negatively about that. Hey, hey, hey. If you don't have a heart like Mother Lane, because if a young brothers are, are sagging and your sister's skirts are too short or their blouse is too open, you don't talk about them, but you bless them. And I'm going to somebody today. No, you don't even pray with for them, but you pray with them. Take some time. Hey. No, I'm going to say, how much better would our community be if we had a heart like Mother Lane to sit down with some of the young folks and tell them, yeah, that there's a God who loves them. Then tell them that they can become more. Tell them that there's some scholastic ability in them. Tell them that they can work with their hand and go from a negative one to a plus six. Let him who stole steal no more. Preach, preacher. Let him begin to work with his hand. And when he does have some capacity, then he's able to do something for somebody. Yes! Have I got a witness here? Yes. Hallelujah. Ah, Lord Jesus. Watch this, brothers and sisters. I need to tell you this again along the way. The truth is some former bad people told the pastors in the office some of the former bad people make some of the best good people you'll ever meet. You well, preach. You, know you preaching, boy. I do beside myself. Yes, 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 yes. And in verse 42, he took notice of this particular widow who was running short of cash. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, she was. Oh, yeah. Yes, his eyes were on her. Mm -hmm. But do me a favor, maybe one last time before I go to my seat. Touch her neighbor one more time and tell them, friends, I just want you to know that Jesus has his eye on you. Yeah. Yeah. Lord have mercy. And if you're not too cool or too mean to talk, turn to somebody on the other side tell a friend, I just want you to know today that the Lord has his eyes. Oh, oh my God. Our Savior and our Lord Jesus was very Yes, and he still is very observant. Uh -huh. And from his point of the observation perspective, yes. Yes. he noticed people putting money into the treasury. Yes. Yes. Those who were wealthy or well off put in much. Uh -huh. Yet this widow, uh -huh. who was again running a little short of cash, yes. and history yeah, tells me that yes, she had been a widow for a little while. Yes. And believe me, back in those days, they didn't have social security in this time. No, they didn't have no public benefits. No, no, no. And therefore, she had to make it the best way yeah. that she could. Make it plain, preacher. Make it plain. I don't know who I'm talking to up in here, and I know this is Mother Lane's home, home certain, but has anybody in here, have you ever had to make it the best way you could? Yeah. Lord, have mercy. I mean, has God given you provision? I know my mother here is 104 years old. Amen. And I know, amen, things were not always the easiest and the best. She helped, and they called Mother Lane her baby. Amen. And please understand, when somebody has made it that far, it's not always been easy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but how many of us have had to make it in on some broken pieces? Yeah. Lord Jesus. And what this season widow discovered, even without a husband, is that God would make a way when there was yes. no way. Yes. And I read about it. God will take care of you, yes, Whatever be tired, family, I just came to talk so to you as we're celebrating. Amen. On this wonderful yeah. Friday afternoon. Yeah. And let you know, even in the ascensions of Mother Lane, God will take care of you generation to generation to generation to generation. Boy, seven years old, God will take care of you. Uh, 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 I'm 
mean the Lord will come through. Has he come through for anybody up in here and you're not ashamed of it? Can you just shout glory? Because you know God has been I'm going to write about it. Yeah. Well, yeah. this widow caught the attention of Jesus. When she put in her offering, I know this is a Baptist house, so I better go ahead and run down the road. Man, you better run, bro, run, boy, run. When she dropped her offering, Jesus was so blessed by her actions that he called the boys over and said, come on over here. He called his disciples and said, I need to give you an object lesson. I need to show you something that's real important. I need to show you something that has some real value. You see this little woman? What she did by putting in those little two mites, that quadrant, in today's economy, it'd be worth about half a penny. And what she did, according to Jesus, yeah. was to put in more yeah. than everybody else. Oh, yeah. Because of what she did, yeah. according to the word of God, yeah. she gave all she had. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. And as I came down here, and I was thinking about Mother Lane, you know, I knew the crowd was going to turn out today. Well, why are you here? Because this mother, she gave all she had. She gave all she had. She gave it in the community. She gave all she had. When it came to her children, she gave all she had. No 
more sickness, no more trouble. Break out on body. She's in the face of Jesus. Anybody glad? My, 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 my. Lord, it bless us. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Won't you know that Mother Lane has just beat us in, that's all. She's a part of a great cloud of witnesses. Encouraging us all to say, you can make it. And she wants us to live life. The life that the Lord Jesus offered. He said, I want you to have life. Uh huh. And I want you to have it more abundantly. Yes. And in this room, I just want you to bow your heads with me, if you will, all across the house. <laughs> Lord Jesus, you are amazing. Yes. Thank you for the life. Mother Rosine Lane. Yes. Yes. Who gave you the best that she had. What a soldier. If there was a child that loved you, she was one. And so now we celebrate you. And for everybody under the sound of my voice, like Mother Lane one day, she said these words, and I want you to repeat them after me, everybody. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Please. Please. please forgive me. Forgive me. For any sins. For any sins. Sin I've never committed. I've never committed. I made some mistakes. I made, I made some mistakes. I've fallen short. I've fallen short. But Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, I'm sorry. But right now. But right, right now. I open my heart to you. I open my heart to you. I receive you today. I receive you today. As Lord of my life. As Lord of my life. I celebrate Mother Lane. I celebrate Mother Lane. I thank you. I thank you. Forgive me. Forgive me. To hear this word. To hear this word. My heart is yours. My heart is yours. And I thank you. And I thank you. For living in me. For living in me. And I know I'm saved right now. And I know I'm saved. But your head's still bowed and your eyes still closed. If you pray that prayer for the first time, just raise your hand. Put it in your heart.